Love, diligence, respect, fear, and trembling. It's like Tazim won't come back with another gym, with another gym, for the knowledge. You spirit probably Yahweh by Shema was shy. Yahweh be in the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh shy be in the name of the only begotten Son. Yahweh in the Hebrew meaning He, He, uh, He, He is or He to be. And Yahweh shy in the Hebrew meaning He delivers. Okay. Those are the names you want to call upon these last days for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and ultimately for protection and deliverance from the evil days that are approaching us. And um, real quick, it's just a quick little exhortation message um, about just doing the work of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, um, nothing else matters. Okay. Your true family, your, your your mother, your father, sister, brother, cousin, whatever, the true members of your real household is those that believe in your Hawba Shema Shai. So you can't can't let that be a hindrance into you in this truth. Okay? In fact, let's get a precept. For sake. Um, because we're coming up in the times that we're, we're going to get put to the test. Okay? We're going to get put to the test. It is going to come by the way of your family. It's going to come by the way of, um, what is that, Matthew 19. We, 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 we got to be willing to sacrifice. Okay, The Lord is looking for a sacrifice, a clean sacrifice. Um, Matthew 19. Okay, a disciple's reward. Um, okay, I guess I can start rolling. I'm gonna take the long way. I'm not gonna make this long at all. Okay, just gonna quick detour. Um, Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold. We have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay? So that's our ultimate goal. Is to get that reward. Okay? The ultimate goal of this thing is to receive that reward from Yahweh Bashim Shai. And for you to hear my faithful servant. You know? That's the ultimate reward. Is to get that crown. Which is going to bring in immortality. You see? So, you know, nothing else matters. But the reward that was promised. Nothing should get in your way. Okay? Um, verse 29. And everyone, and everyone that hath forsaken houses. I personally hate seatbelts. It says, um, and everyone that hath... And everyone that has forsaken houses, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, 
shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. You see? So you got to forsake the things of this world. That's a part of a sacrifice. When you go into the word sacrifice, it actually it means to become a victim. You see? You got to sacrifice. You got to be the victim. <laughs> you see? You got to be, you got to be, you got to be, uh, 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 the person who is hated, not liked, you know, <laughs> which in the flesh, you know, it, it may get a little bothersome depending on your walk, your, your, you know, what, what type of walk of life you came from. You have some men, brothers and sisters that was real lively and they had a lot of friends and family and it was loved. But then when they came into the truth, they became hated and it could play on you. It can bother you. But that's a part of that cross that you got to bear. You know. Um, but regardless, the Lord is looking for a sacrifice. You see. So don't let nothing step in your way of your reward. Nothing else matters, man. Okay. Um, even you got to sacrifice your own personal demons and, and things of that nature too. You know. Um. You know, there's a, a doubt demon, there's a, a, a grudging demon, you know, there's a disenchanted demon, there's a spirit where, you know, you have an issue with every, uh, you know, you have all these issues, you know, um, you think you're being wronged, you think you're being uh, belittled, you think you, you know, you think you, 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 you're not being heard. Those are different spirits and demons to try you. Because ultimately, when you go through certain situations, you know, you got to refer back to the scriptures. Take Yahweh for an example. When he was tempted of Satan, Satan said, cast yourself down. Doesn't the scripture say that the angels will bear you up, you know? And he, he quoted, don't tempt the Lord. So you got to fight Satan with the scriptures. You see? Um... Let me get Romans 12 and 1. Okay. Um, once again, that sacrifice, right? Romans 12 and 1, it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your body a living sacrifice. Okay. So you got to present yourself to Yahweh Bashim Shai, and a sacrifice can't be tainted. A sacrifice has to be pure. A sacrifice has to be um, acceptable to the Lord. It can't be tainted. And that comes with your thoughts. You see? It can't be defiled. And remember, what defileth the man? That that cometh out of his mouth. But remember, it comes from the heart. It comes from his spirit. It comes from his mind first. So you can't have evil thoughts. You see? You can't eat, have evil thoughts and grudging thoughts against brothers. Against, uh, uh, uh. Now, they're going to come. But you're going to have to have to fight those thoughts. You see? You're going to have to fight those thoughts. You're going to have to fight pride. You know? What I've realized in this truth, and I haven't been in this truth that long, you know, I mean, I could say it's a career because when you hit 10 years, 10 years is a career with any job. You know, um, I've came, I came in this troop at 17 years old and less than six months, I'll be 32. Okay. So you count that up and from a, a, a young man to a man with children, see right you're gonna find out that you know that comes with a lot of demons that comes with a lot of pain that comes with a lot of suffering that comes with a lot of you know worry you know it comes with a lot of fear and doubt and things like that but at the end of the day none of that matters you know even with the woman 
you you had all different roller coasters with the woman. Now you're starting to realize, look, man, the hell with all that shit. They're going to be who they're, they're, they're going to do what they're going to do because they're the weaker vessel. You got to know how to move around that shit, whether you stay and you deal and you learn how to deal and deal with them with simplicity, or you can leave the fucking household and just focus on your how about shit, man, shut up. Whatever the Lord got your lot to be, that's what it's going to be. Your woman can't be an excuse. Your kids can't be in the truth. Yeah, I love mine. Them, them little niggas raw as hell. They know the Lord. They, they, you know, they, 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 they pray. You know, they anoint themselves. They, 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 they be excited when they see the brothers. They know the difference between certain family members and the brothers in the truth. They know the salutes. They know certain Hebrew words. You know, it's shit raw. You know, when you, you know, you, you watch them and you see them grow and they believe in the Lord. They have dreams. They see chariots, but. That love that I have for them can't hinder me from doing what I need to do for you. How about Shema Rashad? You see? What about being the head of a camp? You know, you got to watch out for pride. You got to watch out for pride. You got to watch out for uh, 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 all type of things, man. Right? You got you to gotta, you gotta watch out for... Um, you gotta learn uh, the scripture speak about knowing the standard of flock. So there's a lot of things that you gotta make sure you're focused on other than yourself. Yeah, there's times where I feel like, you know, I'm an unworthy leader all the fucking time. But hey, I can't let that hinder me from continue doing what I'm supposed to do for you. How about Shimel Shot? You know, there's gonna, you know, there's times where, you know, I feel alone. But I can't stay in that 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 spirit because I have I I have a camp to run through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Not just me. There's there's other heads in the camp too. Other elder brothers who've been in this thing for ten plus two. You know, I gotta watch out that I'm not stepping on their toes. So I gotta let them grow in their spirit. There's things that I may not like that they say or do, but guess what? I, you know that's a part of it. We gotta move out. We gotta we, we gotta move like water within the, the 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 body of the camp. You know. There's times I felt betrayed, but so fucking what? You gotta just deal with it. You know, a, a forgive a man seventy times seven. You know, it, it's really when you come. You gotta have a certain mindset that you gotta develop a spiritual mindset that really. All of that shit that happens, the the, the the nature of the world, the nature of the flesh, all that don't matter. The main focus that matters is your how about Shema Washai. That's the ultimate thing of doing this work. And that's a part of your sacrifice. Let's read it again. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your body to live a sacrifice. Holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. It's your duty. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be a victim in certain points in this truth to keep you go you you have to be a, 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 a um you gotta be a victim Yahweh was a victim he didn't do nothing wrong ultimately we're doing the right thing you know we're doing the right thing so within doing the right thing there's gonna be a lot of obstacles that's gonna try to stop you to getting into this woe is me spirit this doubting spirit this you know, I'd rather be with my uh, the, the comfortable demon. The comfortable, there's, there's all type of variations of demons that can get you out the truth. It says there's water on the right and, and fire on the left, or however it goes, right? That's all the shit that you got to deal with. But at the end of the day, none of that matters. Check this out, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Let me read that again. And be not conformed to this world. Don't tend to the lust of this world. The shit of this world that will get you to go off. You gotta, it's a straight gate. It's difficult. But you can't, you can't con, meaning with, form, meaning formation. You can't form yourself with the likes of this world. You have to transform into a servant, a prophet of Yahweh Shimel Shai. 
right? Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you got to have another mindset. You got to have a brotherly love mindset. You know, you got to have a, 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 a um, fight until uh, uh, contend for the faith mindset. You got to have a suffer wrongfully mindset. That's the renewing of your mind. You got to know what this thing is really about. And I'm going to tell you, through my experiences, <laughs> nothing matters but this work. Your dreams. You have dreams of brothers betraying you, brothers killing you. You have dreams about all type of shit. You got to wake up and be like, man, look, fuck that. Let me just keep on pushing. That's why I sometimes I put in the chat, hey, you know, hey, Hey, the water y'all about Shemel Shah forgive me and uh, uh, for waking me up and I believe. Because some you may not wake up and believe, man. You gotta do it day by day. Thwa, I got another chance to serve you. How about Shemel Shah? Woke up, I believe, I got another chance to serve him. You see, that's the mindset. You fucked up yesterday, I got another chance to serve him the right way today. I kinda had a little dispute with a brother or felt some type of way, man, fuck that shit, I got another chance to make it up to that brother, and make it up to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know your prayers ain't getting accepted, if you don't go to your brother, right, it says, go to your brother first, before you make up your, before you give out your all, your gift, you know, um, Renewing of your mind that he may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. Let me get one more because I got to go. Uh, Hebrews, the sixth chapter. And I'm going to read this in the NLT. Where we at? Where we at? It's like if I'm all over the place. It's just, you know, I don't know what I'm going to tell this. Nothing, nothing else matters, man. Nothing else matters. You don't matter. Right? You don't matter, man. You're not special. We're not. I mean, we're special because we have this truth. But at the the the, the 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 grand scheme of things, man, we're just servants. You know, don't think yourself too highly. Hebrews six and one. Um, I'm gonna read it in the KJV, then the NLT. Therefore, leaving the principle, the principles of the doctrine of Hamashiach. Let us go on unto perfection. So you got to be perfected in this thing. You see, let us go into perfection. Be perfect. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward the Most High. Now let's read that in NLT. So let us stop going over the basic teachings about Hamashiach again and again. Let us go on instead and become mature in our understanding. So you got to be mature in your understanding. That's how you're going to you, you're going to have to level up every fucking six to four months to three months. You're going to have to keep leveling up, leveling up, leveling up. And that's by the way of the test that you go through. Learning from the test. Failing and then learning. You know? You got to become mature in understanding. Surely we don't need to start again with the fundamentals importance of repenting from evil deeds and placing our faith in the most high. Yeah, we know the, we know the scriptures now. You get to a certain level, you know what these scriptures mean. Now you got to mature in your understanding with the scriptures, mature with living with the truth. That's coming to, per to perfection. You got to become, you got to understand how to live with this thing now. Okay? So, Lord, when this is edifying, it's just some things that I had on my mind. Um, uh, what I've learned in this truth, man, nothing else matters. You got to mature in this thing. You got to spiritually mature. You got to push everything to the side. And at the end of the day, work out your own salvation. Don't let nothing get to you. Be like fucking rubber. Don't let nothing get to you. Right? What, what they're saying, I'm like rubber. You're like glue. Whatever you say bounces off of me, sticks to you. Yeah, be like that, man. Let this shit just bounce off, man. Do the work of your house by Shemel Shai. Fuck everything else. Get your salvation, get that crown, because nothing else matters. So with that, Shalom.